Hello, I'm Dr. Kemi Olunoya from Kemi Talks on Facebook. Today is the 22nd of February, 2024. I want to discuss this case behind me. It's been very, very hot in Ghana. Everybody's talking about this 39-year-old man who relocated to Canada three months ago, father of four, shot dead at a bus stop in Toronto, Canada, by this man up here. This is the suspect at the bus stop, according to the cameras that was captured, and the police is looking for him. I do right here, but she was a 39-year-old man who just relocated, like I said, to Canada three months ago, and he has four children, and he possibly has a wife as well. And they're now bereaved because he was shot dead, standing in the bus stop waiting for a bus. Like, this always happens all the time in Canada in Toronto especially. Well, let me tell you my experience. I was a Toronto police volunteer from 2007 to 2012, and I was a gun violence activist. I advocated for a lot of the families. I helped them reach the media. They made appeals, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making appeals that if you know what happened, especially for people in Toronto, Canada, if you are a person watching this video from Toronto, Canada, okay, no matter what your race is, black, white, no matter what country you're from, Ghanaian community, Nigerian community, whatever, Jane and Finch people, please help the police. This is what I did for five years, all right? You can talk to the detective directly at Homicide downtown, or you can just call Crime Stoppers, 1-800-222-TIPS, 1-800-222-TIPS. The tip you're given is anonymous. Nobody's recording you. Nobody knows who you are or where you are. Once you give that tip, if it's credible and it helps lead to the arrest of this guy, okay, allegedly this guy up here, if it leads to the arrest of this person, you might be able to collect $2,000 as a tip, a reward. So please, even if you're not doing it for the tip, call that toll-free number. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of Jane Street. Jane Street is a long stretch of street from one side of the city to another. And it's very famous for immigrants, newcomers to Canada. It's a low-income area. I lived there when I first arrived in Canada. We lived at Chuck Farm. Chuck Farm was also notorious for violence. We've had a few shootings up there. And I left Canada leaving at Jane and Wilson Street, which is a little bit good, but still, there were still some homicides there as of recently. Toronto police launched a strategy thing called TAVIS. Toronto Anti-Violence Initiative Strategy, Tavis. Tavis really cooled down a lot of this violence for a while there. I left Canada in 2012, and the gun law has been passed. I believe it was passed in 2022, but now we're seeing these pockets of violence come up again. And it's the same thing repeating itself. If I have to say it that way, history is repeating itself, really. Let me give you... A description of this area. Driftwood Avenue is in an area called Jane and Finch. There's an intersection of Jane Street and Finch Avenue. It's filled with apartment buildings, high rises, a mall, Jane and Finch Mall, and so many shops. Very innocent, quiet place. However, there's a lot of gang activity and it's always been like that. I have been to several press conferences when Chief Blair was um, the police chief. They've seized cash, guns, money, and many, many black people have died at Jane and Finch. If I have to count the amount of people that have died at Driftwood, you know, Driftwood Avenue, Driftwood Circle, that whole area of Driftwood, it'll be a lot of people. History cannot continue repeating itself. I have been to the funeral of Junior Apia, who I appealed for his family for years, a Ghanaian family, my first Ghanaian funeral. The Ghanaians are burying children in Canada, and it needs to stop. They're burying young people. And this is history repeating itself. Lives being ruined, families being ruined. I'm not saying that Canada is not safe, or Driftwood is not safe, or Jane and Finch is not safe, or Toronto is not safe. Anywhere you go in the world, you can get killed anywhere, anytime. But my goodness, it is so important for you guys at home in Ghana to know what's going on. Because I'm hearing all kinds of stuff. I'm reading your Facebooks, your Twitters, your comments everywhere. And some people are saying three times he was shot. He must have known something. Have you ever heard of mistaken identity? It's so common in Toronto, Canada. Nigeria was killed in Etobicoke this way. He went to visit a friend upstairs and he's coming down. They shot him dead. Wrong person. And this could be the case. Because according to Toronto police, this guy had no criminal background or nothing. So he was innocent. 
And this person up here may have shot Wachi <laughs> by mistake. Another thing you need to know about this area, Driftwood Avenue is the home of gang members. It has always been. Their colors are blue. If you're going to that area of Jane and Finch, if you have to, don't wear red. The other group is called the Crips, and they were in my building, Chalk Farm, Jane and Chalk Farm, around the Jane and, um, well, um, Jane and Lawrence, Jane and, oh. Guys, where's Chalk Farm? That intersection there, Wilson. So it's so important because one was shot in front of my house at Chalk Farm because it was wearing red. So gang activity is also going on there. Honestly, I hate to say it, but these are the things the police are gonna be looking at. What was he wearing? What time of the day? Everything matters. But where did we do? Where did, what did we do? What did we do? We came from another angle. Drop the guns. If you know anybody that has guns, call the police, tell them. If your children have guns or you suspect them having guns, check their back, check under their bed, 2 a.m. in the morning when they're asleep. Parents, be part of it. Mothers, you know your children have guns. These guns have to be dropped. I really am sorry. My condolences to this family. <sighs> this one, the whole Ghanaian community is going to come for this funeral. And it's so sad because I've been to one before and I can't continue to see this happening. Don't forget guys, 1-800-222-TIPS. I'm gonna to talk to some Ghanaian radio stations later on today and tomorrow on this case because it's very, very sad. And I mean, when you come to Canada, it's not everybody can afford the big areas, you know. Jane Street is affordable, it's nice, but lots of lots of immigrants and lots and lots of, you know, the gang members there, when I left, I left 12 years ago. Some of them would be grown now and out of, you know, these are young kids born after I was done and now gang members possibly, 18 to 25. So we can't keep this thing as a tradition. Thanks for watching.